Hello and welcome! I'm Geralt and this is tutorial 6 for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. The topic for today, demolition and scraping. If you want to watch the previous tutorials, you can find the link to the playlist in the description of the video. Alright, now let's jump right into it. Welcome to the demolition and scrapping tutorial. Let's start our demolition journey with the most fundamental aspects of all demolitions, the demolition office. Demolition office and explosives factory. Oh wow. Demolition office small, demolition office large. Helicopter demolition office, demolition office free. I think this comes with um, when you're playing on realistic mode, they give you a few free buildings. I think. Okay, we will build a large demolition office. Let's see how they all look. I guess it's yeah, pretty much the same building but bigger. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not supposed to build the large. Yeah. Okay. So here. Boom. You're doing great. As usual. Specify the destination for waste. Open the window of the demolition office. For now, we will use the dump with the clone machine as the destination for all types of waste. Please specify this building as the destination. Specify or replace a source building. So we have workers. I guess this is the workers not that are going to be trashed, <laughs> but the ones that are going to work. Explosives. That's where we're going to find the explosives. Construction waste. I think that's where we're going to throw. Metal scrap as well, hazardous waste and mixed waste. Okay, so I guess these are like um, outputs and these are inputs. Okay, so you, for the workers, you need a platform station. For the explosives, you need a warehouse or a factory. And now we're choosing the construction waste and metal scraps, which is an aggregate storage or a, that's a dump, no? I don't know, what is it? Dump with claw machine, yeah. Specify the source for workers. Next, select the bus platform as the source of the workers who will work on the demolition, as I said. Okay. So, the workers that are going to work on the demolition are going to come from here. Perfect work. Purchase two buses for the demolition office. Let's purchase some vehicles for the demolition office. We will start with two buses which will be needed to transport manpower to the demolition site. Awesome stuff. So we have a bunch of mechanisms here that are going to work on demolition. And as you know, this is mostly for realistic mode if you want to demolish things the true realistic way, not like the magical click a button and everything disappears away. Perfect work. Purchase two excavators for the demolition office. This will speed up the demolition. So they're going to participate in the demolition. I think it makes more sense for them to work on the works after. So that taking out the building waste. Purchase four big garbage container trucks. We will need vehicles to transport the garbage from the demolition site. Yeah, so we need to bring the waste to the dump as well. Let's demolish our first building. Open the window on of the old city apartments and use the dynamite icon to demolish the building. We will still we still have funding turned on, so the building will be normally demolished. However, we will need to pay for waste transport and disposal as well as for the demolition itself. Okay, cool stuff. Good to know. Demolish. Allow citizens, okay. I really demolish. Good work. Oh, let's look at the demolition itself. Ah, so it's like the opposite animation of construction, I guess. I would have liked to see an explosion. <laughs> okay, let's try manual demolition. Switch to manual construction by checking the crane icon in the lower right corner. Then select the bulldozer tool and demolish the bridge. As you can see, the bridge is now marked for demolition. The demolition will be assigned to the demolition office and the workers and vehicles will begin working on it. Okay. Terrain tools. Demolish. Ah, we can directly select it, of course. Okay, so 
you have to click this because otherwise right otherwise how do you delete stuff you don't so maybe this doesn't work if you have the the other option how to build using your spare boss okay so this is selected for demolition we are doing great demolish the factory open the window of the food factory and click on the demolition icon So this is marked for demolition, but it's not demolishing itself because we need to buy explosives, I guess. Let's try something explosive. Now the factory is set for demolition. However, we can select the use explosive checks box to speed up the entire demolition. Ah, so you can demolish with explosives and without explosives. There is one disadvantage though. All of the garbage will be mixed up. But we have a very large republic and who cares? We can just transport the garbage out of the city and everything should be okay. Mm -hmm. So if you demolish the building by using... Um, what are you going to be using? Uh -huh, machinery. So the machines are already going, I guess. And the guys are still working or they're working on the demolition? Yeah, workers on the demolition side. There we go. waste of on demolition everything everything is written here which is amazing you can also see which demolition office has been assigned okay now we are using explosives so i guess it's going to explode some specify the source for explosive we need to specify the source for explosives at the demolition office select the warehouse full of explosives at the as the source Which... Aha, uh -huh, this warehouse. Excellent. Lenin would be proud. Oh, there you go. 216 tons of explosives. Purchase a covered truck for the demolition office. We also need to purchase a covered truck for the demolition office to handle the explosives. Makes sense. Can you actually uh, sort here by uh, type of cargo that you need? Other. No. End product. Start product. No. I don't know what that is. No idea. So it has to be a uh, covered how. Excellent. Lenin would be proud. And I think it's already going to pick up the... Where is it going? To the factory. Load 80% of... Um, explosives. Okay. Build a gravel recycling plant. What would be great is to turn all of this garbage from demolition into useful materials. Let's start with construction waste. After crushing it back up, it can be transformed into usable gravel. Oh, oh, the explosion happened. Oh my god. Oh, all the workers were still inside. Oh, that sucks for them. <laughs> okay. And it's also so awesome that we have uh, all this recycling here. Look, gravel, plastic, steel, aluminium, and the waste treatment plant. Okay, let's see. Uh, which way? This way? Okay, good job. Okay, let's slow down a little bit. Ah, it looks like the storage a little bit, but just with the building before it. Replace the destination for construction waste. Open the demolition office window and click on the construction waste line. Then click on the icon to specify the destination and replace it with the aggregate unloading connected to the storage. Which will supply the gravel recycling plant. Aha, so... Okay, good work. What is that? That's an aggregate unloading and that's an aggregate storage. Aha, so this is the station for unloading, this is the storage, and this is the recycling plant. And I guess the recycling plant is then going to produce the gravel, which we need to store in another place, probably. <laughs> because it only has only, but 
that's not nothing, 270 tons. Okay, good stuff. And how much? 200 tons of mixed waste. Was. Was. Dot. <laughs> build a steel recycling plant. Another type of garbage that comes from demolitions is metal scrap. Let's build a steel recycling plant. I'm actually curious. Isn't there like a remixing plant or something? Because this is mixed waste. How the remixing happens is, is an interesting question. Maybe by the waste treatment plant. We will see. Excellent. Lenin would be proud. Replace the destination for steel scrap. Yeah, we will do the same, basically. Perfect work. Build a scrapping facility. Another mechanic that we will explain is the scrapping of old vehicles. Ah, scrapping of others. When you turn on the demolition difficulty, you can sell the vehicles you don't need. However, if your vehicles are old, it can be costly because you will have to pay for the disposal of waste from the old vehicles. You can build a scrapping facility and scrap the vehicles on your own. Scrapping facility, small and large. Oh, and it even has input for uh, rail, which is super cool. You're doing great, comrade. Send the vehicle to scrapping facility. Send the vehicle to the scrapping facility by selecting an intended old vehicle from the depot and clicking on the change depot or workplace icon. Then select the scrapping facility as its destination. Where does it say how old it is? Well, it doesn't. And it has crops. <laughs> okay, so clicking on the change the poor workplace, send it to the scrapping facility. It looks cool. Ooh, a lot of waste, no? I'm pretty sure that this is going to be turned into waste and then we can connect it to the steel. Purchase an open haul truck from the depot. We need a truck to transport all vehicles from storage to the scrapping facility. Oh. But this guy's going on his own. You can also send old vehicles to a storage facility instead of the scrapping facility. That one has to be a big one. It is a big one. New stop. I didn't quite understand what we just did. Attach an airplane parking to the... Airplane parking? <laughs> to the scrapping facility. The, to scrap airplanes, you need to attach the airplane parking area to the scrapping facility in a similar way as with an aircraft manufacturing plant. Well, we haven't done that yet. For scrapping ships, you will need a specialized scrapping facility, but the process is straightforward and you will know what to do. Okay. Use slow vehicle scrapping. You can instruct workers to scrap the vehicles more slowly. The big advantage of this is that the vehicles are broken down into usable waste such as metal or aluminium scrap or directly into mechanical parts or steel that can be used. Oh, that's cool. Why is this not very nicely attached? Also, that becomes part of the scrapping facility. Interesting. Perfect work. That's all for this tutorial. Current production covered. Resources obtained. Okay, so we're obtaining resources from the truck that we just saw. Mechanical tools, electric components, 
some mixed ways. Steel. What is this? Metal scrap. Ah, metal scrap. Okay. So, the steel recycling plant produces steel out of metal scrap. And we get metal scraps from vehicles only. The only part I didn't understand is that where is the mixed waste going? Space for vehicles. Ah, so that's just uh, storage. Vehicles in storage. Ah, I get it. So this guy is transporting vehicles to be scrapped from the storage to the scrap yard. Scrapping facility. Okay. Open space storage. Okay, we need to definitely then also establish someone to pick up the steel and bring it to a storage or something like that. Open storage. Export. Warehouse. Ah, this is the mechanical... So it has a warehouse, an open space storage, an aggregate storage. Two aggregate storages. And containers for waste. Mixed waste. I am still mixed waste. Still curious what happens with the mixed waste. Let's see. So the mixed waste is getting transported to the dump. And that's it. Is there an... an uh, an unmixing of this waste? Ah, that's a uh, waste treatment plant is for um, hazardous waste. Uh -huh. I guess we can only process the scraps into steel because I can see that the mixed waste is going. Where are you loading this from? Ah, from the demolition here. Construction. Construction waste. Mixed waste. So the mixed waste goes to the dump, but um, the other types can be recycled. That's pretty cool. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Good to know all of these things. So when you demolish a building by uh, explosion, that's a bad idea then, I guess. But it's faster. And there's still a ton of workers here and I don't understand what exactly are they doing. Uh, it would be cool if uh, they transform the mixed waste into other types of waste. But I just see... Workers on the demolition site. Notify me when finished. Or maybe they are needed to put the the garbage, the waste in the trucks. Cool stuff. This guy is still transporting. Ah no, there is no more vehicles to transport. This one is empty. Okay. We already have 12 tons of steel here. The metal scraps, do we have any kind of connection here? Uh, there is an output. But we should have done a different thing. And the output works for the scraps. Let me see, I'm very curious actually. Uh, let's do, I need one. Can we do this? Oh, that's that is debatable if it's going to work. Oh no. Oh yes, yes. Oh yes. Did we transport the metal scrap?
I don't know. But it disappeared. Can we buy... Can we buy a few more? Can we send everybody to the same place? I hope that these guys can be transported there. By the... Uh, by the truck. Let's see. This is very, very interesting. It is? Okay, okay. Okay, so we are going to produce... 25... No. Maybe only aggregate? Aluminium scrap aggregate. No, but the metal scraps are an aggregate. Did they come here? Yes, 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 exactly. Awesome. So the aggregate can be transported by um, both of them. The warehouse and the open space and not, unfortunately. Okay, good stuff. Good to know. I'm also curious, since we have a uh, waste here, that means that we probably have to add it to the technical services if we have one. Because no one is coming to take this. Yet. Maybe we have to set up a better service. There is enough. What is this? Big garbage. Okay. Great. That looks uh, very interesting. Very interesting with all the recycling that is happening. Um, amazing. That's it. That's it for this tutorial. If you found it will be of use, help others see it by liking the video. In case you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. Since this is not going to be the last tutorial, consider subscribing if you want to get notified for the future ones. Thank you for watching and see you there.